Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning to ma'am. My name is Nurul Fatina Zura Binti Bahrain. My matrix number 2200565. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ma'am. I am 2200501. Officer Kedek Muhammad Nisa Bawakab. Hello, I am 2200517. Muhammad Yusri Ben Gapa. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am 2200-578-1 Muhammad Shafiq B. Fikri I'm going to share with you what the leadership of strategies that I get from this uh, movie which is 12 Strong So actually this movie is about uh, US Extraordinary Forces Group uh, driven by Captain Mitch Nelson which is Chris Hem Hemsworth is pick up his pick to be the primary US troops sent into the Afghanistan uh, to be a leader there. Uh, in this movie, actually, they need to persuade uh, Northern Alliance General Dostum to unite with them to battle their basic force with the Taliban and their Al Qaeda partners. And this 12 strong is the astonishing journey story for a little gathering of American Special Forces who conveyed to Afghanistan soon after 9-11 and rode to the fight riding a horse. Actually in this movie, um, they need to survive there and they only riding the horse by start this journey, uh, the captain lead with um, we call it as responsible and then um, once in Afghanistan the troopers not many of them were talented riders had to explore the nation unfriendly uh, but their captain helped the, uh, the team to ride the horse um, with nicely as we can see this leadership uh, are needed because the captain are responsibility to help them and then um, leadership is the way to will impact individuals by giving them reason course and inspiration while you are working to achieve a mission and improve the association and army chief is an individual who by temperance of accepted job or allocated obli obligation um, moves and impact individuals to achieve hierarchy uh, objective armed force pioneers proper individuals both inside and outside the hierarchy of leadership to seek after activities center reasoning and shape choices for everyone benefit of the association being a pointer is significantly more intricate than simply providing order you your effect on others can take numerous structure words um your deeds and the quality you talk about the model you said each move you make will give imp uh, impact to others so we have direct leadership direct leadership is uh, you are guide people face to face mm, first line lead leadership sub of direct leadership um, leaders see them all the time at, as the team so as you can see the captain in the this movie is direct leadership which is he given the that uh, instructed by face to face and direct to the team so organization leadership is common several hundred or to, to several thousand the command is indirect generally through more levels up of the net uh, we can see also these um, types of organizational leadership in this movie which is from the general to the captain we have a uh, several parts to give the command. It's not um, we what we call, we call it as a COC, which is change of command. Change of command is we have the general and then we got captain and then we have uh, captain to pass the order for other. And then we have strategic leadership, include military and department of the army, civil leaders from the major command level through the department of defense, leadership, strategic leaders are responsible for large organization and influence several thousand to hundred of thousand people, 
jobs. Yeah, by the way, uh, for, for the strategies uh, leadership also we have, they may take into account such things congressional hearings army budget. In this strategy, uh, in this things, we have strategy leaders. So today I want to share about problem and vision in the strong movies. So the first problem here is when the commander not getting trust uh, from his superior to lead the team. Uh, in the beginning of the movie, Captain Nelson didn't get support from his superior to get back his team for the battle in Afghanistan against Taliban. This is because he didn't have any experience in any battle combat. The second problem is they have problems with insufficient vehicles to move and to war. During war, they just get 6 horses from their allies to move with their 12 men to a Taliban that takes 5 hours journey. They also use 6 horses uh, to fight against Taliban with tanks. The third problem is uh, the platoon didn't get air support during battle. During battle against okay, Taliban, United States of America air support run out of fuel to fly to destroy the enemy base that uh, causing them to retreat so they lost the battle uh, for that time the fourth problem is allies didn't provide good operation with their platoon captain nelson didn't get the strategy information from general Rostam about italian supply line although he knew about it they were ambushed by taliban by the tanks uh, that they just use horse to fight with the Taliban. Then General Rostam and his men also didn't want to continue the battle with uh, the platoon after he knew that there is another team which is his rival also going to Mazar al Sharif. So he asked his men to retreat because he didn't want to pave the way for General Atta who also with the American armed forces. So the last problem is the platoon was getting ambushed by the terrorists or the Taliban. So here the section A was ambushed by a rocket fire launcher that is BM-21 by the Taliban. Uh, while the section B was ambushed by suicide bomber that caused foreign officer Hal injured. Uh, and last section C was ambushed by the Taliban that cause the antenna doesn't work and it hard for them to communicate the technical base. So yeah, as we know, uh, every conflict uh, or problem has its solution. Uh, based on my analysis about twice around the movie, uh, many solutions were presented in the movie. Uh, most of the solutions are unpredictable and incredible to be said. Captain Mitch Nelson uh, as the US Special Force Teams leader or the 595 are the person with the responsibility to handle the extremely dangerous uh, mission in Afghanistan. Taking down the enemy known as the Taliban and this all kind of allies uh, certainly give it a hard experience with outgunner and outnumber. Uh, but every problem has its solution and it is proof that we could need the tactics and early preparation to uh, keep our come out. Putting the best tactics or strategy. Uh, this is what enables them to keep on the mission even less than we need. Even though they have unsufficient vehicles to move, uh, they still manage to move with the forces. Plan, timing and spirit uh, are needed for the fight. Alternative plan must be used, uh, especially in a critical situation. It is the person who will decide everything if there is such a big role. What they have at the moment must be taken into consideration uh, for the use of the enemy. Uh, then, the nature of readiness that was planted inside the soldiers helped to curb the problems like getting ambushed by the terrorists, allies do not provide good cooperation and do not get support during battles. And when someone is ready for the next op for the next obstacles, next situation, uh, they still manage to act properly in even in the middle of war. How do two restaurants adapt with these problems? They still able to fight as plan like being ambushed or not receive any support during battles. Moreover, a leader must have a well readiness and well prepared in everything in order to lead a team. If we, if we look on how Captain Mitch Nelson is not gaining trust from his superiors, uh, 
uh, it is due to his real experience in war. Thanks for watching.